mjane wa marehemu Kipiegon Kenei, Mama Judy na watoto wake, mzee John, Mama Alice, Chesang, wazazi wa marehemu Kenei, familia ndugu marafiki watu wa kijiji hii viongozi wa kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali, pamoja na waombelezaji wote hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa uzito mwingi tumefika hapa leo katika hii safari yenye huzuni na maswali mengi tukimsindikiza huyu ndugu yetu ofisa wangu katika ofisi yangu Arnold Kipiegon Kenei na nimefika hapa kumuenzi nashukuru mzee baba yake na familia kwa kumlea huyu shujaa and i can say without fear of any contradiction that kipiegon was a disciplined professional police officer who served with dedication his commitment his professionalism his humility was evident not just to me but it was evident to every visitor who came to my office at Harambe House Annex Mimi najua mama Judy na mzee John na mama Alice wamempoteza mtu wao wa karibu sana lakini hata na sisi katika ofisi ya naibu wa rais tumempoteza mmoja wetu ambaye tulifanya kazi na yeye na alikuwa mtu ambaye ni wa kujitolea na mwadilifu na mtu ambaye ali sacrifice mambo mengi kutimiza wajibu wake kama askari mlinzi na mtu ambaye alishughulika na wageni wanaokuja katika ofisi ya naibu wa rais vile mmeambiwa hapa watu wengi wanakuja katika ofisi hiyo marais wamekuja kule prime ministers wamekuja kule mawaziri na watu wengine kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali. na huyu kipiegon katika ile kazi yake ya kujitolea aliwahudumia wote na hakuna hata wakati mmoja nilipata malalamiko kutoka kwa wageni walinitembelea <clears throat> therefore without a doubt i can say that he was a great professional and an asset in my office nilizungumza na huyu kijana na wacha nimuite kijana kwa sababu kidogo nimesonga songa kwa miaka jumatatu ndio alhamisi ipatikane kwanza kwamba ameuawa na jumatatu hiyo wakati nilifika kwa ofisi nikaita yule anayesimamia ulinzi katika ofisi ya majengo la ofisi ya naibu wa rais huyu bwana Rop ambaye ni commissioner wa police na nikamuita yule anayesimamia escort katika hiyo ofisi 
bwana yampoi wote wawili walikuja kwa ofisi yangu na nilitaka kujua ni jambo gani ilitendeka alhamis iliyokuwa imepita kwa sababu Jumatatu ilikuwa ni mara yangu ya kwanza kufika katika ofisi alhamisi siku wa ofisi Ijumaa siku kwa ofisi ndio nikakuja Jumatatu hawa wawili walikuja wakani brief wakaniambia kulitokea hivi kulitokea hivi kulitokea hivi mpaka wakaniletea CCTV akaniambia ilikuwa namna hii ilikuwa namna hii ilikuwa namna hii Mimi nikaita kwa sababu hawa huyu Kenei ako na wenzake wawili ambao wanafanya kazi pamoja ni askari pia Nikawaita wote watatu wakasimama mbele yangu pale ofisini nikawauliza vijana ni mambo gani aliyofanyika kwa hiyo ofisi wote wakajieleza na Kenei akaniambia ya kwamba ni kweli yeye anajuana na bwana Echesa na alikuwa amepigiwa simu na kuambiwa ya kwamba Echesa na wenzake waliokuja kwa kwa ofisi yangu walikuwa na appointment ndio akawaruhusu waje katika waiting room vijana wale wengine wakajieleza namna hiyo na tukakubaliana kwa sababu sasa kulikuwa tayari kuna uchunguzi unaendelea nikawaeleza wote wakiwemo wakubwa wao kwamba mimi ninataka ukweli kila mmoja wenu aende aandike taarifa kwa DCI na waseme ukweli vile ilivyokuwa imetendeka That was the, the last moment I had a discussion with this great officer. Baadaye mambo yakaenda vile yalikwenda. Sikukuja ofisini Tuesday na Wednesday nilikuwa nafanya kazi kutoka ofisi nyingine kule Karen. Wakati nilikuja Thursday asubuhi tena kama saa 4 saa 5 nikaita tena wale wasimamizi katika ofisi yangu kujua kutaka kujua progress ya vile uchunguzi inaendelea kwa sababu yale yalikuwa yamefanyika katika ofisi yangu kwamba eti kuna kandarasi fake ambayo ililetwa ikasainiwa kwenye ofisi yangu na ikaniweka matope nyingi nilikuwa nataka kujua ukweli wa hayo maneno ni gani wakanieleza vile ilikuwa imeenda na kwamba Kenei hakufika kuandika taarifa simu yake haikuwa inapatikana na walikuwa wameanza kumtafuta mimi mwenyewe nikachukua simu nikauliza huyu Kenei kwa sababu sikujua ya kwamba huyu Kenei ni mtoto wa mzee Chesang huyu mzee Chesang na waziri Chelugui wamekuja mpaka nyumbani kwangu Sugoi lakini sikujua uhusiano wao nikaambiwa huyu kijana anatoka Solai mtu wa kwanza ambaye anatoka Solai katika mawazo yangu ni huyu kijana Nixon ambaye pia nilimlea ofisini wakati alitoka university alikuja akafanya kazi ofisini kwangu nikamtafuta nikamwambia kama unajua Kenei naambiwa hapa ofisini ya kwamba amepotea hajapatikana tafadhali tafuta kama unamjua tafuta watu wao na wale ambao kama unamjua nikaambiwa hapo hapo pia ni relative wa waziri vile vile nikampigia waziri 
Kamuliza waziri, unajua huyu kijana anaitwa Kenea kwa hapa, akaniambia ni e, sisi ni watu wa jamii moja, ni kamuambia inasemekana hapa ofisini ame hajapatikana tangu Wednesday. Pia na yeye akaniambia atajaribu kupiga simu kutafuta na mambo yakaenda hivyo. Baadaye baada ya masaa mawili ama matatu hivi nikapata kujua ya kwamba huyu kijana ameuawa. Na mimi nataka niseme kwa familia poleni sana. Na poleni kwa watu wa hapa Solai. Ile mimi nitasema akiwa ni mtu ambaye alinifanyia kazi. Na nikiwa pia naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya wenye kuchukua maisha ya huyu kijana watapatikana wenye kumuua huyu kijana hawatapata amani mpaka wajisalimishe ama wapatikane waadhibiwe na mimi nawauliza wale wote wahusika watafute kiini na sababu na kwa nini huyu kenei aliuawa there must be i have said it must be found out why who and how was this man how was he aliwawa na nani lazima ipatikane lazima ipatikane na ningependa kusema hivi wakati tuko na huzuni mingi ya kupotea ama kuuawa kwa huyu kijana Kuna watu wengi wananipiga vita vya kisiasa. Mimi nataka niwaambie hawa wanaonipiga vita vya kisiasa wanipige mimi wawachane na watu wengine. Na mimi nataka niulize nikiwa mahali hapa leo wale waliopanga njama eti kuna ununuzi wa mabunduki na hiyo njama ikazungushwa badala ya kuenda mahali ambapo mambo ya mabunduki ya jeshi inafanyika kule DOD wakaizungusha wakaileta kwa ofisi yangu wakajumuisha huyu kijana katika hiyo njama na dakika chache baada ya kutoka kwa ofisi yangu wale wakashikwa dakika kumi hivi baada ya kutoka kwa ofisi yangu mimi nataka niwaulize maswali kama ilikuwa inajulikana kuna njama hii ya ununuzi wa mabunduki na ilikuwa inafuatwa mbona walikubali hiyo njama iletwe kwa ofisi yangu huyu kijana aingizwe ndani baadaye dakika chache wale washikwe na baadaye huyu kijana akauawa we want to know kwa sababu mtu mmoja ambaye angetuambia kwa sababu alikutana na hawa wakora wazungu pamoja na ma general fake waliokuja kwa ofisi yangu mtu ambaye angetuambia ukweli ni huyu jamaa wamemuua na mimi nataka niseme hivi and, and i want to say this for the record i am aware and i know and it's obvious that there is 
a huge scheme that has been orchestrated to demean and to destroy my office and to ensure that I do not get anywhere. That I know, and it is rather obvious. Those executing this scheme, this elaborate scheme to undermine and destroy my office and ostensibly to stop me using all these schemes, I want to tell them they may have the system. They may have whatever they have. But I want to tell them we have God. And the blood of this innocent Kenyan will not go scot-free. Na hii njama inaendeshwa na mimi nataka nikumwambia bwana DCI tafadhali my friend fanya kazi ya askari chunguza tafuta ukweli siasa wachana naye yes siasa wachana naye kwa sababu hii njama inaundwa ya kisiasa for political reasons the DCI is being used to undermine my office, to bring me down, and many of them are not even ashamed to say William Ruto will not be there in 2022, and yet they are walking around. This man lying here was my officer. Kifo huyu jamaa amekufa ni kwa sababu ya mambo haya yanayozungushwa. Na ndio mimi nasema kama imefika mahali hapa njama inasokotwa ofisi yangu Haina huusiano wowote na DOD. There is no deputy commander in chief. There is only one commander in chief. There is no relationship between my office and DOD. There can never be a relationship of procurement of guns about around my office. What is this? Na sasa imefika ata ile njama ya kuuza ama kununua bunduki fake na haya mambo yote wale waliohusika na huyo ununuzi wa bunduki na majenerali bandia hawaonekani ile inaonekana ni ofisi ya deputy president my friends please give us a break baba mimi nataka nikueleze kijana huyu damu yake wale waliomuua kwa sababu yoyote hawawezi kuwa na amani mpaka tuwapate na wale wanaoendesha njama hii nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba pengine waniue mimi lakini sitarudi nyuma siwezi kurudi nyuma kwa sababu Kenya ni ya wakenya wote Kenya si ya wakenya wachache vitisho njama hizi zote kwa sababu ninajua hata yale mambo yanakuja hapa mbele ambayo imepangwa but I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. Kama muliwa huyu ndiyo munitishe, mimi nataka niwambie 
damu ya uhuyu itawaandama amutapona and i know what i'm saying i am the deputy president of kenya i'm not a madman i know what i'm saying kwa hivyo wale wanapanga hizi tunjama eti watanipiganisha mimi na jamii yangu shauri yao so watu wa solai poleni poleni that this young man had to pay the ultimate price na mzee mimi nataka nikwambie wewe kama baba yetu utulie vile tumezungumza pale na familia tutasaidiana mimi nitasimama imara kutetea haki yenu najua umesema vizuri kwa kujali askari wetu ya kwamba tutafute namna ya kuhakikisha kwamba askari wetu pia wanalipwa sawa sawa ningependa kukueleza mzee ya kwamba na mama eh, mjane ya kwamba serikali ya jubilee wakati tulichukua uskani askari wetu hawakukuwa na bima i want to tell you today we have an insurance cover that is going to pay for the death of this man now there will be reasonable money that will be paid to the family to the wife and we will support you in the education and in managing kenai's family me personally and of course the government of kenya umetuuliza mambo ya stima kwa heshima ya huyu mngwana wetu ambaye alikuwa anafuatilia hapa na kuru county tuko na pesa ya stima shilingi bilion mbili na nusu ya mwaka huu na mwaka ujao kuunganisha watu karibu 1040 wapya mimi nataka nikueleze tutajumuisha chama sisi hii katika hiyo mpango na nitamweleza waziri ambaye anahusika aweze kufuatilia kazi hiyo na waziri Chelugui mwenzake yuko hapa atafanya kazi hiyo ningependa vile vile kusema poleni nimefika hapa katika siku ya majonzi ningependa kufika hapa wakati tuko na furaha juzi nilikuwa hapa Seth Kobor kwa shule kwa ujenzi wa shule hiyo nilikuwa Solai Day kwa ujenzi wa shule hiyo na kuna mambo mengine ya maji na mambo mengine tumeongea na viongozi pamoja na waziri hiyo kazi tutazidi na kufanya lakini hata na hivyo nataka niseme pole pole za familia yangu za mke wangu watoto wangu kwa watoto wa huyu eh, ndugu yetu eh, Kenei and it is really tragic that we've come here to send off a man with an outstanding career who had to face his death in this manner na waomba radhi ya kwamba sitakaa na nyinyi mpaka mwisho nimeshaongea na familia nimeomba ruhusa kutoka kwa baba yetu na amekubali kwa sababu niko na shughuli kule Meru nimehairisha mara tatu na leo eh, hata nimefungiwa huyu kabeabea mheshimiwa ndio nisihepe kwenda huko so ni nikamwambia ya kwamba nitachelewa eh, na huyu atakuwa shahidi wangu kule mbele kwa hivyo poleni tena na Mungu awafariji god bless you